about Ani Prashanti. This is about an H-1B amendment once again. Is an H-1B amendment necessary when the job position at H-1B differs from the one employer is considering for EB-3 employment-based category 3 green card? There will be a slight change in my job duties, but the wa- wages may vary. I'm asking this question because at some point in the perm and I-140 stage, USCIS may question past jobs and duties. So I'm concerned about whether or not it is an issue with two different positions as compared to the H-1B and my perm. So yeah, the same, the issue, main issue here that he's concerned about is that, uh, for example, it looks like his H-1 is, uh, just as an example, filed as a software engineer and maybe his um, perm is filed as a um, program analyst. (coughs) In this instance, there is a difference in the job title between the perm and the H-1B. While it is not um, ideal uh, to have that difference, that doesn't automatically result in a denial of the perm or a denial of the H-1. The perm is an offer of future employment. So you have to have an explanation as to why the employment in the future you you, uh, propose to hire the person in this particular job while he's presently working in a different job. Maybe you foresee that you will have different requirements or uh, a different need um, in the future. Uh, As of now, your need is that of, you know, uh, is based on which the uh, H-1 has been filed. So while it's not ideal, it's better to have both uh, same job titles. Sometimes it becomes necessary to, to, to do uh, to do it this way as two different job titles. Um, sometimes because of the whole EB2, EB3 issues that come in and because of the way uh, H-1s are approved and the way um, uh, perms are done, um, there is a conflict sometimes between the job titles, etc. Uh, but ge- in general, no matter what that conflict is, you're supposed to put the job title uh, of the employer uh, where the actual job title where, um, that the employer tells you to and not just put some job title to get, you know, a better, a better result uh, for your perm or a better result for your H1. And the job title also is not the determining factor it's actually the job description so that's something to keep in mind as well so can they still use you know because you know if we mix up this uh, question here uh, try to look at it in a different angle can they still use the experience from the same employer uh, for the perm the same petitioning employer for both h1 and the uh, perm as well right then uh you might even more have even more of a problem because when you're doing the perm, you're saying that the job you have to show in order to use the same experience from the same employer that 50% of the job is different, uh, that the job is completely different, at least more than 50% of it is different, and you have to create a table, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you're actually um, making it more difficult for yourself because by yourself you're contrasting uh, because of the need that you have. The difference with the present job and the difference in the job that you know you will be hired for so that could cr- create some complications moving ahead um but yeah it has to be done it can be done well uh looks like you know whoever has this question uh you know once you watch this video this definitely looks a little uh not little you know too complex for me so I think you should definitely reach out to Prashanti if you need help with this. I don't think you know it's time to play. If if the if the truth is it's this is this is the truth. Definitely, it's taking 10, 20, 30 years. Specifically, you know, people who are born in India, and uh, I think you should not take a chance and get a denial and waste more time. You have to grandfather the priority dates. Thanks for answering that question. Uh,